Everybody, you guys are not going to believe who I have in my studio today of recording for today's podcast. He's an amazing person, a superhuman, and I kind of want to just start getting capes for people like my next guest, Jeff. And Jeff, don't be surprised if you find one in your mailbox. My friend, please introduce yourself to the audience. Thank you so much. That's so kind of you. Um, and I'll wear a cape the next time you and I are together, but that's <laughs> that's it. Uh, so my name is Jeff Harris, uh, and thank you again for having me here. I own JMJB Merchant Solutions. Um, we're a credit card processing broker supporting small, medium-sized businesses with uh, their payment acceptance from their customers. Um, so it's wonderful to be here, um, and I love um, listening to all your podcasts, Francesca. I just want to say Aww. that up front. Thank you so much, Jeff. I love that you support the show. Um, it is so important to me when I have people like you in my life. So thank you. thank you. So here's the thing, you know, we were talking a little bit in the green room and we've had previous conversations about people who shift their perspective, people who reach a point in their lives and make some major changes. And I know physically you've made changes because you look different. You, I mean, you always looked great. Your skin is glowing now, but you've had a major change in your life. I'll pack that for the audience here and how we can share that shift happens. It can happen and it can be great. Sure. What's your um, story? Yeah, I'm happy to. So I, I think it all starts with recognition, right? Mm. Um, with being able to take that step back and realizing that something needs to change or perhaps something isn't right or something isn't as great as it could be. And that recognition is where things always start. Mm. So I've always been a very outgoing type of person. I love interacting with other people. And when COVID and the pandemic hit, um, it really hit me, me personally very hard because I wasn't able to be around other folks aside from mm. you know, my, my family who I love very much, but I wasn't able to be around other people. And around the summertime of 2020, uh, for the first time in my life, I was experiencing anxiety and depression and these feelings that I never quite recognized what they were. And I actually went to the doctor based on the recommendation of a really good friend and was put on an anxiety medication, which helped a little bit. Um, and a couple months later, realized that uh, if I was able to take control of the things that I could control, it really could help with reducing the anxiety and reducing the depression. So that's when I started on a, a, a journey of really self-betterment and self-improvement. And that went everything from improving my mindset and what I was putting in my mind in terms of yeah. reading and learning to, to do some meditation and visualizing to what I was putting in my body in terms of the foods and, and what I was consuming on a daily basis. And then uh, something you and I have talked about, which is exercising and being outside. And it doesn't matter if it's snowing or raining or hot or cold, being outside and getting that clarity from being in, in nature has just been fantastic for me. Um, so fast forward, uh, let's call it a little bit over a year. Um, you know, I, I, I'm in a spot now where I have some incredible clarity um, from a, a, a mental standpoint, which is just fantastic to, to have in my life that was lacking right. previously. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I'm down almost, uh, almost 90 pounds from where I was previously. Wow. Uh, yeah. And um, I just, I feel, I feel wonderful. And it all came and started from recognition and from shifting my mindset to do what I knew I always could, just did not have the mental capabilities to push myself to, to do. So I hope that that answers the question. That is an incredible answer to the question. And thank you for sharing your story. You know, there's a decent amount of vulnerability that goes along with this story and um you're sharing your heart here and it, it is it's a difficult journey in that it's an all day every day type of thing right were there days jeff that you felt compelled to stop or were just ready to say i don't know about this or was it every day because you shifted that record into recognition in the beginning like help me through the challenges if you had any yeah, of course. Um, you know, we're human. Of course, there were days where it was challenging and I didn't want to wake up and I didn't or wake up and go outside and, and do a walk or a run. 
Mm. There were plenty of days where, you know, we would have birthday parties and I'd see the cake and I'd want to have some cake. There were yeah. plenty of, of times where um, I, of course, wanted to, to not do what I had committed myself to doing. But by not following and sticking true to what I, I committed to doing is how I got there in the first place. So yeah. every time that happened or I wanted to, to, to cheat, if you will, there was that, that thought of, this is how you got here in the first place. Stop. Um, I also chose a specific program that I went through um, with a couple of colleagues and, and now really close friends of mine. And having that accountability with other people that were kind of marching in the trenches, trenches with you um, also certainly helps along the way. So uh, yeah, there are still days and times where, you know, I don't want to get up this morning. I laid in bed for 20 minutes before I got up and jumped on the Peloton and I could have used that 20 minutes to do something different, but right. um, yeah, that's part of, that's just part of, uh, part of being a human and, and part of constantly training and, and retraining your mind to, 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 to take action and do the things that you know you need to do. Well, thank you for sharing that. I think it's really important for people to hear that, Jeff, because we are going to be faced with challenges, whether it's through body movement or work or whatever, and it's always bringing ourselves back as to why, right, and doing the things, but also, as you so kindly mentioned, giving yourself the grace that, okay, I could have been doing something else, but then I got up. Give yourself the grace of the break and get back on the bike when it feels right. So I appreciate you sharing that because it, it is the, the cycle of life. We are human. We're going to have these air quotes temptations, right? That are going to move through us. Um, so what type of things have you learned then, aside from what you've mentioned, things that we can share with the audience about not going back, about moving forward? So uh, I, I think the that's and that's a fantastic question because it's one that uh, was missing for me. You know, my whole um, life, you know, in health class as a kid and throughout your whole life, eat healthy and exercise. And it's amazing if you do those things, what happens to your body? But uh, I feel the the big the big uh, piece that was missing was the planning aspect of it. So if you're um, going to go and just wing doing something and not have a set plan, it's going to be much more challenging to accomplish than it is to have that plan. So if it's changing what you're putting in your body, have a plan of what your meals are going to look like over the course of the week. You're going to be hungry. Have snacks that are healthy, that are in line with what you're looking to achieve. If it's exercise, when are you going to exercise on a daily basis or every other day if you're just getting back into it or whatever that looks like? Have that planned out for yourself. I read a book, Francesca, that really hit me at the beginning of this, this journey called Atomic Habits by James Oh, Clear. great book. And Incredible if, book. A hundred percent. I agree wholeheartedly. It's a fantastic book, but it talks yeah. about we're humans and it needs to be made easy for us or there's a higher risk of us not doing it essentially, right? That's right. So it was about having that plan in place to make things easy, to make things simple to follow, to be able to achieve. And then once you start getting wins under your belt, once you start seeing progress in whatever area of your life you're looking to improve, then it just continues to, uh, it just continues to grow and continues to get better. So uh, I would say that the, the biggest thing, if you're looking to make a change in an area of your life is, is, is to create a plan um, yep. and then stick through and execute on that plan. Yep. That is such a great point. And that book has come up before. And I want to emphasize that, you know, I have it on Audible, but I, I'm probably going to buy the hard copy because I just want to underline those sections. There's something for everybody in that book, right? And it, and um, because my friend, the work that you've done internally is impressive because it shows externally as well. And it just goes to show that, you know what? you are worthy of this amazingness and you've just, you're just a, an amazing testament to hard work and that it does take time and it's not going to happen overnight and it is persistence and it is taking care of yourself. So it's so very impressive. Um, thank you for sharing all that. So, you know, the magic question, I was trying to think of a magic segue, but my sense is you've lost a person, you've lost a, a young adult from your body and you've, You've had to do some clothes shopping, right? You've had to probably 
In fact, I'm pretty sure you did have to replace your entire wardrobe because nothing's going to fit. So believe it or not, seven pounds, just seven pounds is about one size. And you've lost that in multiples. Uh, like it's higher math for me right now. It's, it's seven <laughs> cubed for you. So what is it that you found in that you've replaced now um, that gives you confidence? What's your strongest piece of clothing, Jeff, that, that really helps you step into that power? Interest, it, it's really interesting. It's uh, at this stage, it's now anything that has the size on it that I want to get into. <laughs> but um, because it's just, you know, it's, it's been intriguing going from, you know, a double X to a large and now into a medium. Um, so anytime I see those, it's really, it feels wonderful. Um, and I think the, the piece, though, if you will, that uh, gives me is something I've had since I was 13. Um, when I was 13, um, I was given this piece of jewelry. It's, a, yeah. it's, a, it's a mezuzah. And yeah. I wear this every day. And just having that against my chest every day, that's the the empowerment, if you will, that makes me feel um, that makes me feel me. And, I love uh, that. That's that that has made it through all the changes. So I love that. It's you. It makes you, and it's made it through all the changes. That's wonderful that you have an accessory close to your heart, right? <laughs> yep, exactly. That is, that is such a, that's great. I love it. So Jeff, if someone wanted to talk with you about this amazing transformation mentally and physically that you've made and how you did it, where's the best place for people to find you? Like, where should they look you up? So uh, if the, there's a couple places you can find me. Social media is the best um, because everything and my whole journey has been put out there um, for, for folks if they want to follow. Uh, you can follow me um, on Facebook, Jeff Harris, on LinkedIn or on um, Instagram. Uh, JMJB Payments is the handle. Uh, and I'll get all those over to you. So you have them, Francesca. You can also visit my website. Uh, there's contact information there, which is JMJB merchant solutions.com uh, awesome. and always happy to chat if anyone ever wants to figure out a way to get started or to do something that's going to help impact themselves yeah i mean for those of you who can't see this it, it is an incredible transformation because jeff when you and i first met you know it's just it i know the dedication that it took to do what you've done and it's nothing short of miraculous so congratulations to you and now you're not only a mentor for yourself, you can be a mentor for others. And that is just amazing. So I love that. I love that. Um, well, my friend, thank you so much for your time today. I just love that you shared your journey here and that we could possibly touch, even if it's just one person with uh, the amazing transformation that you have. Thank you for your time today. Thank you. I appreciate it, Francesca.